The anointing power of Christ that works in us is what makes us different from every other person that's on the surface of the earth. We carry something big inside of us, which is the power and anointing of Christ, causing us to do exploit beyond an average human who does not know Christ or a believer who's yet to acknowledge the anointing and power that he or she carries on the inside. You might want to ask me, what is the anointing power of Christ? The anointing power of Christ is the anointing of the Holy Spirit. We all need this anointing to serve God effectively. Jesus, speaking to his disciples in Act 1 verse 8, says, But you shall receive power, ability, efficiency, and might when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be my witnesses in Jerusalem and all Judea and Samaria and to the ends, the very bounds of the earth. When the anointing has come upon you, it gives you the ability, efficiency, and might that you need to do these exploits. By your strength, you cannot do all these things that mankind is earnestly waiting for. That's why Jesus Christ had to send it to the disciples, and just like how they receive these anointings is the same way we too as believers also have it. But because we do not know what we carry on the inside, that power has become dormant. That's the same power at work in the disciples is the same power of Christ that works in us. Start making use of it. The anointing power of Christ that works in us is the presence of God. It's the power of God and in the person of Jesus Christ that destroys everything that is not of God. That is the magnitude of power that you carry inside, because Christ lives in you. The Bible, speaking in Isaiah 10 verse 27, says, So it will be in that day, that his burden will be removed from your shoulders, and his yoke from your neck, and the yoke will be broken because of fatness. The fatness here refers to the anointing, and it's because of this anointing that every burden that you're carrying will be broken, and every yoke the enemy has kept you in, too, will be broken. Believers suffer because they fail to use the power of the anointing that works in us. When sickness, affliction, poverty, addiction, depression and every other negative thing that you're passing through right now comes in contact with the anointing, they are destroyed. You must have had enough of what you're going through presently and you want to change. There's absolutely nothing that the anointing power of Christ inside of you cannot destroy. Beloved, it's time to stand up on your feet and go on your knees to activate what you carry. Nobody can help you unless you're willing to help yourself with the power of Christ at work in you. The anointing power of Christ that works in us also builds, strengthens, blesses and brings life to whatever the Lord is saying or doing in your life. On one hand, the anointing destroys whatever the enemy has put in your life. And on the other hand, the anointing blesses you, gives you strength, builds you back up, and brings life to whatever God has said over your life. When we go through challenges, we tend to forget everything that God has already said you are. We forget that His words are always yea and amen and we allow the devil to take away our source of hope and faith. If whatever that is in your life is of God, the anointing causes it to grow rapidly. But if not, it destroys it when you take your relationship, your family, your job and everything that concerns you and begin to speak the anointing power of Christ that is at work in you. You begin to see changes, a turnaround to something better because of the anointing power in you. The book of Psalm 105 verse 15, Do not touch my anointed ones, and do my prophets no harm. 
Nobody or anything has the power to touch you or do anything to you or anything that concerns you because you are anointed of God. Beloved, don't allow anyone to tell you differently. You are anointed of God and carry His anointing power which is at work inside of you. The devil can only try, but all his plans concerning you and your family is not going to work. Start making use of your anointing. The anointing power of Christ that works in us teaches us all things. The book of 1 John 2 verse 27, As for you, the anointing which you received from him abides in you, and you do not need for anyone to teach you. But as his anointing teaches you about all things, and is true, and is not a lie, and just as it has taught you, you abide in him. You do not need anybody to teach you things that are not true, because Christ's anointing power that works in us is already teaching you, and would continue to live inside of you, teaching you all things till eternity, if you let him. Most believers are empty without any oil inside of them, because you've refused to open up your heart and mind and let the Holy Spirit teach you. Others are just so stubborn that they believe it's only with their knowledge that they'll be able to understand things. We as believers need to understand that by might and strength no man can prevail except by the mercies of God. Your knowledge can only take you so far. At some point, you would be exhausted. Begin to allow the Holy Spirit that lives inside of you to begin to teach you all things and see how far you go. The anointing power of Christ that works in us has given us the ability to achieve anything that we set our mind to do. I'll always say the only thing stopping you from being everything you've been called to be is you. Your abilities are limitless if you begin to allow that power inside of you to begin to manifest. Christ's anointing power has also given us the ability to overcome every challenge or temptation that we face. The reason why you're still failing is that you've not yet allowed yourself to believe that you can. And that challenge that you're going through is just a phase and it would pass. Christ has already said he's not going to allow a temptation that you're not yet capable of overcoming to come your way. Which means anything that you're going through now, you can overcome it. That power has already been given to you. There are times you see other believers living their life to the fullest, performing miracles and doing wonderfully, while others are still struggling to even have faith that what they prayed for is going to come to pass. And then you want to ask, why the difference? It's simply because one knows the amount of the anointing power of Christ that is at work in his life. So all he needs to do is just speak and everything falls in place. Beloved, you can also do this. That same power that lives in them, the apostles and every prophet that you know, that same power lives in you. So there's nothing you can't do. Don't be thinking that they are special. The Bible speaking in 2 Corinthians 1 verse 20 to 21 says, for as many as are the promises of God, they all find their yes or answer in Him, Christ. For this reason, we also utter the Amen, so be it, to God through Him, in His person and by His agency, to the glory of God. But it is God who confirms and makes us steadfast and establishes us in joint fellowship with you in Christ and has consecrated and anointed us, enduing us with the gifts of the Holy Spirit. God promised and he kept to his word by anointing us all with a different gift. The Holy Spirit is for everyone and not just some. You are special, just like everyone is. The difference right now is because of your belief. Start believing in what you carry in the inside 
and see how your life would change and how you experience God in another dimension. No one can live for the Lord or serve Him with His strength. No one can live in a way that would please God without the anointing power of Christ or serve Him effectively and fruitfully without that same power. The anointing is indispensable and we would fall and get weary in our Christian walk. So you need to activate that power living inside of you. It's already there. The book of 1 John 2 verse 20 says, But you have an anointing from the Holy One, and you all know. You already know that you have an anointing. It's already been confirmed. So what's stopping you now? Don't let the devil tell you something different. All you need is faith and you would see yourself doing exploit for the kingdom and also for your generation. The anointing power of Christ that works in us is everything you need. My prayer for you today is that God gives you that ability to see and use the power you carry. Stay blessed.